it will be based on different densities, it's going to ask you to adjust the capacity number and if that's okay. Typically you're just going to say yes and it's going to adjust the capacity of that tank. Now we mentioned earlier that the top blue button here is preset 1. The second button is preset 2. So preset 1 rate is our default rate. So barley, I'm going to do barley at 80 pounds. Hit enter. So now you see our, our default rate button is changed to 80. Preset rate 2. Say we want to intermittently bump it up to 100 quickly. We can set that to 100. Then if, for example, you go through a low where you might want 100 pounds of barley on, you can just hit this button and it'll just automatically change the, the machine to put out 100 pounds to the acre. While you're doing that, it is going to remind you that you have an alternate rate in use, so you will not forget to put it back to 80. The increment, I mentioned earlier that the increment value is fully adjustable. So in this case, I'm going to switch it to five pounds to the acre, increase or decrease increment. When I hit enter, now if I hit the increase or decrease, it's going to go up by five pounds instead of it being 10 like previously set. So that's all we got to do for tank one. Now, tank two, I'm not going to use in this case, so I'm just going to ignore it for now, and we're going to go turn it off in a minute. Tank three, I'm going to switch this to some potash. And I hit accept. Capacity need to adjust to full, say yes. And so now I have my potash set up for tank three. Now my preset rate, I'm gonna go 15 pounds. My preset number two, or alternate rate, I'm gonna go a 30 pound alternate rate. And the increment, five is likely a good number there as well. So that covers number three. We'll go to number four. I'm going to set that up as my phosphate tank. Accept it. Fill the tank now, yes. My preset rate, 1 at 75, I'm going to change that to a 60 and leave my preset rate 2 at 30. So that finishes tank 4. Now we got to remember we have that tank 5 over there. Now typically this will be set up once as an anhydrous, so the capacity will be typically the same. That will be have to be a manual entry because the Borgo software doesn't know what size of nurse tank that you have to supply your anhydrous with. So you'll have to enter that and remember that it's in pounds of N if you are using actual N as a, a rate unit. So in my case, I'm going to say 8,500 pounds is a, a true capacity. Just full, yes. Preset rate one, I'm going to go 75. Uh, preset rate two, I'm actually going to go a lighter rate on that at 50. And let's do five as an increment there as well. So we have our tanks all configured now properly. So after you've configured your products, uh, typically you're going to want to go in and reset your field acres 
and the area acres if you hit reset area number it's going to clear out these individual acres as well which is usually a good idea when you're starting a new crop and then also down here below we have seeding time which is a, a measure of clutched in time so it keeps track of how much time that master switch is on so we're going to reset that when we start this new field too Now we have that all configured. We have product in the tank and we want to calibrate it. So now we're going to go to the calibrate button and remember this is going to enter the calibration values based on what we get out when we run a hydraulic calibration. Now when we run the orbit motor that runs the hydraulic calibration, it's going to turn the metering augers at their individual settings. Now when you start a new product, you will have to prime your metering augers as they will be cleaned out of the prior product and you will have essentially airspace before any product is actually coming out to be measured. But with the automatic controller that the Top Connex 20 is, we want to actually prime the metering augers in this calibration screen so that the monitor is setting the transmissions at their appropriate value as soon as possible. So you start up this calibration screen and you go back to the air seeder and you run it momentarily to make sure that product is coming out continually out of each metering auger then stop the calibration motor and come back to the cab and just hit the reset button. And what it'll do is reset all the shaft revolutions to zero. Then when you do your true calibration, which should be referenced in more detail in your, your operator's manual, it will keep track of everything as accurate as possible. Now, as with any of the other Borgo systems, when you run a calibration, you measure the weight of each tank product and in this example here we come in and we'll enter our weight for our barley sample and when we go to enter the weight you can enter it in any decimal format you want um, but typically you're going to have a, uh, a sample as, as much as you can at least 20 pounds and it can be to a tenth of a decimal as typically as accurate as you're going to go so let's say we're going to enter a 20.5 number. Then the monitor will calculate that number back to a rate and it'll automatically set the transmission when you go to start seeding based on that calculation that it just provided. Now you do that for each individual tank and you will have the monitor set up and ready to seed.